Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to run multiple regression in LibreOffice Calc with a dummy variable. So I've already done a video where I show you how simple it is to run multiple regression in LibreOffice Calc, but here we have this additional feature where we want to include as a independent variable in our model. And as you can see, it's got um, it happens to be a categorical variable with levels yes and no. So it's a binary, so we only have to create one dummy. So this isn't going to be a lecture on dummy variables, but it's more about how to include dummy variables once you understand what they are uh, and why they're necessary into a multiple regression model using a software package like LibreOffice Calc or actually any, any um, spreadsheet software. Okay, so I've done these for other soft, uh, spreadsheet softwares like Excel and Google Sheets, and I want to do this very quickly for Calc as well. So I'm just going to shift this guy over a bit, just kind of because I know where I'm going with this. I'm going to shift this. Um, let's go this way. Uh, let's insert a column before. Okay, so we're going to call this holiday. I'm going to go ahead and call this holiday yes. And I'm gonna, if you if you let me just borrow that um, X3 moniker here as well. I'm I'm gonna eventually not include this when I get to the the uh, running the model, and I'm gonna include this dummy. So what I'm gonna choose is my baseline is no. So I'm gonna get a one for yes and a zero for no. That's gonna be basically my dummy variable, right? Captures all the information in this variable. Uh, and it puts it in binary terms. Okay, now I want to automate this a bit. So a little bit of uh, if function is in order. So equals if. So if this equals yes, then we're going to get a one. If not, we're going to get a zero. Okay, so you see clearly I get a zero wherever you see a no and a one wherever you see yes. Now I'm ready to include all three of these predictors, these independent variables into my model. So let's go ahead and do that. So the rest is exactly as you've learned before. We're gonna to go to data, statistics, regression. We're gonna choose our X range to be with the labels, these three. They need to be next to each other, they, the, the columns, okay? So that's why I shifted the other one over. Notice I didn't include the, the original holiday, but I included the dummy holiday, yes, that I created. And then for y, of course, we're trying to predict y, uh, pi sales. So there's our dependent variable. Both x and y have labels. As you noticed, I highlighted with the labels. I'm just gonna uncheck some of this stuff and put the results up in G1. Let's hit OK. Bam, we get the output. Let's take a look at the most important parts, not spend too much time on this. So here are the coefficients. The, uh, we got B0, right? The y-intercept, we got the partial slope for price, the partial slope for advertising, and the partial slope for our dummy, Holiday S, which, as you know, is more of an on-off switch than a traditional slope. It's not a rise over run necessarily, right? Uh, it's easier to think of this as when holiday yes is a one, meaning yes, it was a holiday, then this switch turns on. In other words, you add 89.43 to your prediction. And if holiday yes is a no, in other words, it was not a holiday, you'd plug in zero and this would that would wipe this out and it would you would not do anything to the prediction okay it would have no effect all right uh, otherwise you have the overall f test adjusted r square r square the individual t test uh, p values etc etc all right so that's how simple it is to also include non-numerical predictors into your multiple regression model using libreoffice calc okay so if excel and Google Sheets are letting you down for whatever reason, you have this free alternative, and I'm slowly compiling a playlist of LibreOffice Calc 
for statistics uh, on my channel, Jaleer Academy. So till next time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Jaleer Academy. Have a great day.